Hi, I'm Kai, and today we have a look on how we can show additional informations from a cable which goes over interruption points to another terminal stripe, maybe in another cabinet, on both sides. The problem here is that some people try to draw a cable two times in ePlan, but this will create a lot of fault messages. And we are looking for a solution where we can show the additional informations also on the other side where we don't have the cable. So stay tuned. Maybe you know the situation that people who want to connect this cable ask you if you can also show on the opposite side the information about the core numbers or core colors. The problem is when we use this cable a second time on this page that we will create a lot of fault messages. So how can we show on this side the information from the cable? The solution are block properties. So we go here to our interruption point and here we add now a block property. What we need here is the format for the block property. So we select here block property one. You need to check if you don't have use it already. And then we can go here to the more button. And now we can try to find the information from the cable. So I will start with the interruption point source. So the opposite side. And then we go to the connection. So he has also shown the information that now we are on the connection between XD19 and XD20. And on this connection, you can find the connection definition point. And now we click move to the right. And here we can select the color or number of the core. We click OK and OK. And now we need to go to the tab display and add here also our block property to show it on our interruption point. So we go to block property one. This is basically what we have done here. So this is the format for block property one. And here we want to show the value of block property one. I directly undocked it and click OK. And as you can see already here is shown the core number with control B. I can now move it, for example, to here. And now I can also mark the other ones, make a right click, go to properties and add, for example, here also the block property one and go to display and add also here the block property. Undock it, click OK. Go to my first one, take this string and copy it to the other ones. And when I mark now this one, go to edit, copy format, and assign format, I have all the informations now also available here without generating a fault. And now I also want to show the cable device tag here. So that means I need to add on the first one another block property. I will delete this and use, for example, the block property format 2. And on display, I also directly add block property 2. Undock it. Now I go back here to my interruption point tab and go on more. I also start here with the source of the interruption point. Then I go to the connection. So basically I'm now on the same place. And here I don't can use the connection definition point because this will not give me the device tag. I need to go here to the main function. So I go to the next step and now I can use the function and here the device tag. And maybe if you have a classic interface cable which 
goes through two cabinets. Then maybe you can use the name identifying that you have also the location designation. Click OK and OK. Go back here to display and rotate it to 90 degrees. And with Control B, I can shift it now to here. And have now on this page exactly the same information like this one. And when I, for example, now change here the cable, for example, to one, I will also get the information here directly. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e skills.